my name is Don and welcome to the channel. So it's Sunday morning, I'm just getting ready to watch some football and I've got some ammo in front of me and some calipers. I'm back at it. Said I'd never do it, but I tell you what, ammo is getting <laughs> hard to find. I uh, haven't been able to really find any SK and I have a crap ton of Norma. And I tell you, I did a lot of videos using the Norma, and the first lot I got of this stuff was fantastic. The next two lots that I, actually three lots that I've received, and I've got a lot of it, uh, hasn't been so good. It, it's really sporadic. So I figured, you know, everybody says that this rim, rim thickness sorting works really well, so I'm going to give it another shot. So every row that I have, is a like measurement. So in theory they should shoot the same. They might shoot a little higher or a little lower but they should all group together. And like I said I only had two rounds out of the uh, 150 that I did that were um, they didn't really fit in. So those were probably flyers I'm guessing. But so we're gonna go out in a little bit and we're gonna shoot this stuff and we're gonna see just how it shoots and maybe if it groups a little better. We're going to shoot at 100 yards and we're going to use the CZ457, it's my almost accurate rifle, and we're going to see what we can get out of these things, so stay tuned. Alright, so the wind isn't terrible out here today, we got a little bit of a left to right wind and it's kind of coming towards us a little bit too, but it's not bad, so the wind really shouldn't have much of a bearing on the groups. Like I said in the intro, each five round group is going to be the same exact rim thickness, so we shouldn't have any, you know, flyers per se so let's just see what happens here I'm kind of uh, curious to see what happens all right so here we go I'm not gonna do a lot of talking we're just gonna do do a bunch of shooting so we'll measure things up when I'm done if I see anything wonky I'll, I'll mention it but other than that we're just gonna be doing some shooting so enjoy top left Ooh. Come on guys. All right. hands are getting extremely cold.
I think that first flyer on that group was me. Ooh, it's my fingers are freezing. It's only like 23 degrees out here. See what I do for you people? <laughs> Just to be fair to the ammunition, I want to throw one more round in that last group. Like I said, that was uh, that was my fault. Didn't really make much difference. All right. High round was a hotter. That was a hot round. What is with the left? I think the left to right is the temperature. My my fingers freezing. I think it's causing me to jerk the trigger a little bit and cause that left to right stringing. Pretty sure that was me. That was a flyer. I'm gonna throw another one in there because I screwed that one up. Yeah, that was my fault. All right, that's it. Let me get these things measured up and I'll get right back to you. So my very first video on this channel had to do with ammo sorting and how I wasn't gonna do it because I didn't think it made that much of a difference. Well, after today's testing, I'm a believer. But I only tested by rim thickness. So what I did is I actually sorted according to the type of shooting I was doing. So today I was shooting five round groups so in my ammo container, I made sure that each row of five rounds was the same rim thickness. If I were to be shooting NRL 22, I would make sure that each 10 rounds was the same rim thickness. Most stages are 10 rounds. And I think that that's probably the best way to sort is according to the type of shooting you're doing. But we ended up out of 100 rounds, I think I had five flyers, and I think most of them were my fault because of it, it was so cold. Uh, I know this one was, I know this one was. I actually shot uh, I actually shot an extra round in each one so I could complete the group because if you're evaluating ammunition and you know you screwed up a shot, I think you should shoot a makeup shot because it's not fair to the ammunition or yourself to uh, include that in your testing. I did have a flyer here, a small flyer here, and they weren't big flyers, like they weren't an inch or inch and a half from the group. They were only a half an inch, but it did make the, the group larger. This was uh, the first flyer, and that was a pretty good one. That's about, this was probably ending up to be about a .80 group, and it ended up being almost a 1.80 group. But other than that, you know, I was getting flyers like crazy. I'd have a flyer almost every group that I shot. And I think the way I sorted it kind of put, 
each flyer into its own group and made them not a flyer anymore. So, so that's how I'm going to sort when I do sort. Am I going to sort everything that I shoot? Probably not because if I have to start, you know, if I'm paying 10 bucks for a box of ammo or 15 bucks, if you got to sort that, why are you paying so much money for the ammunition? You know what I mean? It should be already done for you, I guess is my point. So that's all I have for you today. So if you like what you saw, please give it a big thumbs up and thanks for watching. And please subscribe. We're closing in on a thousand subscribers and they're adding up quite fast. It seems like the more I get, the faster they're coming in. And I greatly appreciate that, guys. So thank you and we'll see you in the next one.